Hi, today our topic is mock interview. Let's see what we are going to discuss as part of this topic. The, the first question is, <clears throat> I have a scenario that I have two objects in master detail relationship. For example, I have a school object which is master and student object which is child. Now, I want to apply sharing settings on student or otherwise can we apply sharing settings on child object individually think about it the another question is customer purchased new licenses and added into the production after creating a sandbox now in the sandbox we need the same licenses to proceed further on a business requirements or a business logic implementation how we can get licenses to sandbox without refreshing the sand without refreshing the sandbox in other words how can you match the licenses from production to sandbox without refreshing the sandbox think about the answer and what type of lwc quick actions we have in other words what type of quick actions supported by lwc Another question is, can we perform DML operations in the method annotated with ARA enabled cacheable true? So let's see the questions and answers. <clears throat> Simple. I have two objects in master data relationship. Can we apply sharing settings on child object? You cannot do that because all the sharing settings applied to master object in our case school object applies to student it is child object automatically okay when your object in the master detail relationship so always child objects inherited all the sharings and the ownership from master only now let's talk about licenses how you can match the licenses or new licenses added into the production to sandbox if you created a sandbox before adding these licenses to the production simple you just need to go to the company information if you observe here first of all set up first step and then go to company information once you open the company information if you observe here organization detail there you will have edit and match production licenses okay these things will be available in sandbox not in the developer edition if you are using the developer edition for practicing okay so when you have other sandbox you just need to go to the company information and then just click on this match production licenses then it automatically match or import the licenses from production or it matches the licenses from production to sandbox simply this is the very easy step instead of refreshing the sandbox okay because we should not refresh the sandbox without a reason okay as you have the possibility to match the production licenses always you have to go with this option why you may have the implementation in the progress which is having multiple developers who is implementing multiple things in your sandbox instead of refreshing go ahead with match production licenses option on company information okay now next question is what type of lwc quick actions we have we have two types of lwc quick actions one is screen quick action another one is headless quick action so when you configure screen quick action it displays a component in a model window to configure this screen type of quick action what you have to do you just need to here if you see here you just need to configure target configure or you just need to configure target configs here that is action type is the screen action and the target should be lightning record action as you are talking about the quick actions here and headless actions 
what is going to happen it's just execute the custom code what you have implemented in the invoke method instead of opening the model window to set up this how you have to configure your component you have to configure the component with the target com configs with action type as action then it becomes a headless action that's how it works now the main point is here lwc supports two types of quick actions one is screen quick action another one is headless quick action so when you talk about screen quick action it displays a component in a model window and whatever logic you have whatever the user interface you have it displays in a model window and you can proceed further when you talk about headless quick action it just executes the custom code you provided in invoke method okay instead of opening the model window this is how it works now let's go to another question can we perform dml operations in the method annotated with ara enabled cacheable true no you cannot perform dml operations when you annotate your method as ara enabled cacheable true so usually we use this kind of method for getting the uh, records via wire method okay when you are wiring a method in your lwc component then you are going to use this kind of apex methods to get the results and the fast results to cache the result okay to give you uh, more performance better performance okay these are all the references you can go through and for uh, more information and you can dig into things what we discussed deeply all the best please subscribe to salesforce tech book